We need to have an open discussion of this. And when you go back and you look at the, uh, the struggles that even Ross Perot had, remember, he was very high in the polls in 1992. He had, at one point, was in first uh, place before he dropped out in July. And then he came back in in October. He still met the 15%. But then when we came back in in 1996, his support wasn't as high. He sued, and the FCC basically shut him down. You even had a maneuver where they complained that he needed to have a right to equal time on TV. And that certainly is the case. Okay, but they shut that down as well. Now we have the situation earlier this year where third party candidates got together and they sued the commission. They sued the uh, Federal Election Commission and the Commission on Presidential Debates. That has been shut down. They're going to continue to do it exactly the way they want. And now that they have uh, Michael Bloomberg in, look at them to adjust the rules to suit their purposes, even adjusting the polls to make sure that Bloomberg shows up highly in those polls. Because remember, Rand Paul was excluded from the last debate because of a Bloomberg poll. Bloomberg's company had three, there were three polls that finished on a Sunday. The other two published on a Monday. Bloomberg embargoed that poll for 36 hours and Fox News said, well, our hands are tied by our standard. He cannot be included. And that's the way they play the game. That's the way they rig the game. And we can see that now we've got uh, Michael Bloomberg coming in. We see Rupert Murdoch the very same company that is winnowing the field, had said this back in August. He said, with Trump becoming a very serious candidate, it's time for the next billionaire candidate, Michael Bloomberg, to step into the ring, the greatest mayor. And then he went on to say, he's a great philanthropic executive who, with Giuliani, made New York the greatest. So if the guy who owns Fox News, the people who are allowed to winnow the field, likes you, I'm sure they'll find a way to include him in the polls. If not... Uh, then they will exclude him. That's the way the game is played. And it should tell us that the elites are very scared of what's going on. We'll be right back. I'm running for president. Everyday Americans need a champion, and I want to be that champion. I'm hitting the road to earn your vote, and I hope you'll join me on this journey. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Shane Steiner's involvement with InfoWarsLife.com truly happened in an organic way. I went to high school with Shane, his brother, knew his parents well, and he was visiting the office once, hadn't been to the office in years, and said, wow, I notice you're making and selling supplements. Do these really work? Because I've tried a lot of supplements as a uh, workout enthusiast, and I really think most of them are hype. And I said, here, take some home, try it. Well, a few weeks later, he came in blown away and said, I want to buy three boxes of this stuff to get my friends and family. It's simply amazing. He said, why does it work so well? And I said, listen, go to InfoWarsLife.com, watch the informational videos with Dr. Group and others. They understand how it all works. I know that it works for me. That's all I understand. The science, the facts, the research, people's testimonials, they're all on InfoWarsLife.com. You can check it out for yourself. I wanted to go to the gym. I wanted to push myself and work out harder. And that led to me being able to come out and do stuff like the barefooting and the surfing and stuff like that, which what I would have never done. I, I never would have done that uh, two years ago. Shane has said over and over again, more than just libido and energy, it made him want to get into the gym more. It made him want to get in better shape. And believe me, the Steiners have amazing genetics. Uh, his brother is a world champion steer wrestler. His dad, Bobby Steiner, is a famous world champion bull rider. They've got natural genetics. But when you added this to the mix, in Shane's own words, it took him to the next level. Shane noticed the mental clarity, 
Bobby was able to work out longer and gain muscle mass. He's already completely shredded. I gotta admit, for me, the biggest effect has been libido. Now, I've never claimed to have a body like some beach model, but back when I was 20, 22 years old and worked out every day, I looked great. But over the years, and being married, and having three kids, and working 18 hours a day, I gained basically 100 pounds. And it's been a long process of losing that weight in the last four years. But if you look at the photos and the videos of what I looked like four or five years ago versus today, the results are dramatic. I'd already cleaned up my diet, I was working out hard, but I'd only lost about 20 pounds. It was adding the other key ingredients ingredients from InfoWarsLife.com that helped me personally go to the next level and shed another 35 pounds. This has actually made me feel so good that uh, here lately, about a year ago, I started training jujitsu and that kind of led to doing some boxing and kickboxing. I mean, it's, it's amazing that two years ago I was on the couch and couldn't even tie my shoes. And now I'm training with MMA fighters and uh, just doing stuff that I never thought that I'd, I would be doing ever again. So Super Male Vitality has allowed me to do some amazing things. And if it has those kind of effects for me, I know that it will do great things for you. So just try Super Male Vitality. I promise you, you'll love it. And finally, let's look at Anthony Gucciardi, Infowars.com reporter. He also works with Dr. Group and others helping develop the newest, most cutting edge, high quality supplements. Let's take a look at what happened when he tried to barefoot ski for the first time with the Steiners. And remember, we're not making fun of him. He had the will to get in the arena, and he's lost more than 10 pounds in the last few years of fat and gained more than 10 pounds of muscle. And Anthony chalks it up to super male vitality as well. Bottom line, folks, you want to discover the power of super male vitality and super female vitality for yourself by visiting InfoWarsLife.com today or by calling toll free 888 253 3139. Now we go to Richard Reeves, who's on the road covering campaign 2016. Longtime political correspondent Richard Reeves. Richard, tell us exactly where you are via video Skype right now. And what you notice going into the warren of the Gollum ghoul-like servants of uh, Hillary's uh, beard, uh, Hillary's uh, fake competition to make her look less radical, Bernie Sanders. Alex, I am in Iowa City, Iowa, and it's very exciting, though, to see. You know, you're correct about Bernie Sanders, absolutely spot on target about Bernie Sanders. But you know what? Bernie Sanders has a chance to take Hillary Clinton down in this primary election season where she can't even get the national nominee for the Democrats. That's right. She's so unpopular. What, She's news. so unpopular in the Drudge Poll. He got like 28 percent. She got 0.88, which is figurative for her to say Hall Hitler. because That's the kind of woman she is. So I guess that's her number. But expanding on that, it's just amazing. So break it down the numbers. You got a big guest coming in later in the week to break down the demographics, how we can defeat them and get Donald Trump in. Well, I've been saying since early December, this is Donald Trump's election to lose. Now it's time for him to really win. I think if I were Donald Trump, I would be exposing Hillary some more about her predatory habits against women and against children. And I would also expose eugenics. I tell you what, you've been talking about it all day on today's broadcast. That is one truth that Donald Trump has not touched upon yet. Planned Parenthood is not about women's health. Planned Parenthood is about eugenics. Talk about swinging female votes. Talk about swinging minorities. That's how Donald Trump can do it. Donald Trump, I'm asking you, get out there, talk about Planned Parenthood. Talk about that it's a eugenics program. Talk about Margaret Sanger being a eugenics uh, prop proponent. Talk about Hillary Clinton following up and being right in Margaret Sanger in the New World Order's pocket and pushing eugenics, whether it be fluoride and lead in the water or Planned Parenthood or all those different things you laid out earlier today in the broadcast, Alex. Absolutely. Now, let's get into the demographics, the numbers, what we're seeing with Sanders, what you saw at the cult event. Can this cultist, more honest about his communism, uh, defeat the larger CIA rat that is Hillary? Well, that's one of the beautiful things about the New World Order. Is they've built this enemy of communism and socialism here with their liberal education system, the public schools that are a disaster, the colleges that are liberal campuses of disaster. Well, you know what? They've built themselves a new enemy because they're about to take down Hillary Clinton. 
their establishment candidate, their Bilderberg pick. Okay, so Bernie Sanders got two thousand people to about four or five different events yesterday in total. He's had fifty thousand people turn up for him in Iowa at his events, and he had, if I remember correctly, over two million individual donors with an average of twenty-seven dollars a piece. So he's got a war chest. He's got a $54 million war chest. So that means he can go on beyond Iowa. That means he can go beyond New Hampshire. And it's not because I'm excited about seeing him win. I'm excited about seeing him take Hillary down and let's get the witch done with. Imagine folks walking by on the street and, and, and seeing a reporter yell and scream. That's what it's all about. Wearing our open bias to tell the truth and fight as America's being destroyed to save the country, Richard Reeves. Now, calming down a bit, Richard, uh, okay. as you stand out there in the misty rain, you're doing a great job. Let's go over some of the demographics. I mean, he really is beating her in most polls. They're trying to suppress that. I really expect, if he's not a total ringer, because he was he played nice with her for a long time until she attacked him, that, you know, he, he he's not Obama part two, the heir apparent. I really think that, you know, they'll blow his airplane up, they'll kill him or something. Uh, he doesn't really have any, you know, skeletons so far that have come out. Well, what's the intel? I mean, do you think Sanders is for real uh, or is he just a total shill for Hillary? No, I, I think he's for real. I think he's he is who he is. And I got to hand it to him. He's a hard worker. He's getting these mind zombie socialist bots that the New World Order's created. He's getting them to show up his events. Normally, they would be lining up for a Harry Potter movie. But instead, they're lining up for him. You're right. Really, they are really stupid, stupid, talk. waddling, soft, dumb morons. Sorry, go ahead. But but the good news is, look, they're awake about certain financial aspects of the New World Order. I think with Donald Trump out there, he will be able to judo that support to himself in the upcoming general election. I think, he, you know, when Bernie goes by the wayside or if he wins the uh, National Democrat nomination, I think Donald Trump wipes the floor with Bernie Sanders. But in the meantime, if Hillary goes down, we'll not shed a tear. Absolutely not. So the numbers are, oh, more encouraging, great news. A poll came out yesterday. Alex, I'm telling you, you've worked decades about this. I've worked decades about this. This is so exciting to see. They had a poll come out. Fox quoted it. I don't know which poll it was. Donald Trump, 39% in Iowa. Ted Cruz, 34% in Iowa. That's 73%. If you add up Carson, Cruz, Fiorina, Rand Paul, the, the, you know, the other outside candidates, if you add them all up, that's got to be 80% now ready to flush incumbents down the toilet, Alex. Absolutely. They think the Republicans can win 47 states, top analysts. The, the, they are scared to death. And I tell you, if Trump is a shill, no one will forgive him. He will have nowhere he can go if he isn't for real. But I've talked to so many people on and off air. I'll leave it at that. If Trump isn't for real, he's the greatest actor I've ever talked to, and I'm just going to leave it at that. But obviously the media is listening, and I don't care what the enemies know. You know, But the point is, Trump, th th there's a stack of articles today saying, Trump, X-Files, Alex Jones, he's a nut. You know, he's this and that. Uh, you know, they're really getting it. But the point is, Trump's smart enough to want the, the Patriot base. That's the base. That's the winning team. You know, it's much bigger than the, you know, 13% black vote that puts the Democrats in every time. So, so that's the third rail is the original Americana Patriots of every race, color, and creed. Trump knows that. Uh, but man, I'm telling you, the, all the money they're putting against him, they're not doing that for show. Okay. And they're not talking about that in the media. So that shows he's real for whatever reason. They do not want him in. So this is an epic battle all these people want to watch NFL football all day. Hey, forget that. This is the true blood sport. This is the true gladiatorial event right here, but it's for real marbles. That's right, Alex. Think about this. If you were Donald Trump, you're at a point in your life, you're at a point on this planet where you can be the biggest modern-day Benedict Arnold in history or you can be the biggest George Washington in modern-day history. What choice would you make, Alex? It's a simple choice. you got to be the George Washington. you got to choose George Washington. So Donald that's Trump, right. We choose Donald George Trump. Washington. That's right. And I think Donald Trump's going to choose it. Listen, if I were Donald Trump, I'll tell you exactly what I'd do right now to win this race. Number one, I would reach across the aisle to Ted Cruz right now, and I would say, look, Ted Cruz, you have been hated in Washington, but you know what? That is a badge of honor. I love you for it, brother. I understand why you took out a loan at Goldman Sachs. I understand why you did a Citibank loan, because if you hadn't have done that, Lieutenant, Dave, Lieutenant Governor David Dewhurst, Texas, would be the senator right now. And he's a really bad guy. Ted Cruz. Yeah, and That's right, is really bad news. So I forgive Ted Cruz for that. And if, on top of that, it was a loan. It wasn't, it wasn't big 
speaking fees like Hillary Clinton had from Goldman Sachs, $600,000. Well, let's expand on that. I mean, you take a long word.